Hello Disney peeps and peepettes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. JP's behind the camera today. Yeah. Hello. So today I have, well today is actually the 13th, 13th of October and I just got this box in my driveway yesterday the 12th of October. My box shipped out late. Like maybe like five days late. No, Bibbidi Boppy sent it to the wrong address. No, it shipped out late anyway, though. Oh. And then they shipped it to the wrong address. So we so had to we, pay we, someone we to get it. But I changed the address. I'm like 99% sure. But it didn't, they didn't change it. Or something happened. Something happened and it didn't get changed. So then I emailed them urgently. I posted on Instagram, like in my story. I only got one reply saying that they couldn't fix it. That I would have to call FedEx. Which is a lie. I called FedEx several times and they said only the shipper can change it. So I let Bippity Boppity know and then I never heard back from Bippity Boppity and it was delivered to that address in North Carolina, which is over 200 miles away. So then we had to pay one of JP's co workers to ship it to us from our house. Thankfully, nobody took it from our empty house stoop. So it's here. A box has traveled. 400 and something miles to go away from our house to, to right back to our away house. from where Bippity is actually shipped from. So we have it. It's in the new Halloween box. I'm a little sad though because now the box, I've never gotten a Halloween themed like outside of the box and now it's ruined from all this tape and stuff from multiple shipments. Since we were moving and stuff, I went down to a the lowest tier, which is the Wishes, Dreams, Dreams box. So I'm surprised that it's in such a big box and it's actually pretty heavy. I'm excited to see what is in a Dreams box. I've never had a what Dreams box. What does this box. one cost? Um, $39.99, I think. Then plus shipping? Yeah, plus shipping. Bippity was, you know, it wasn't the best customer service experience. But they Ever. did email me after the fact and apologized, so I can't stay mad at somebody who apologizes. Except for JP. So I'm gonna open with scissors. Alright. All right. I like their Halloween symbol though. Okay, okay. I'm nervous. Ugh. I'll let you guys, you and JP, see first. Oh man. What? I don't know what that is. Ooh, it's fancy. This is a reusable bag. They do this new thing, Bippy does this new thing, it's a reusable bag. See? Hmm. So, and then it comes in this fancy little... That's a really ugly color. It's translucent, it's like shiny, it's not... Okay, so, it's Bippity. Oh, oh. They have a new little folder thing for your cards. I can't keep it in touch. It's super cute. It's a little Halloween version. Let's see. Oh, package slip. I don't want to package slip. So, a quick note about my box. It has fewer items, but of higher value. So, I'm assuming there's only going to be one in there. This is a new card, though. Oh, and it's still... Amanda did it again. So, my box was curated by Amanda again. Um, and then it has Daisy Duck, which I love. She's a sass queen. And it says, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. Walt Disney. It's super cute. This is a really cute setup. I really like how this is like a little business folder. It's like this. It has all the cute emblems on here. I like that a lot. I'm nervous about the box, though. I did put a few things on my wish list. Like, I had those um, Mickey ghost lounge fly ears. And then I had like the... Onward popcorn bucket, but I don't think I got either of those two things. So I don't think I got anything from my wishes, but we shall see. Okay. Oh, there's none of those paper crap in here. No, that's why they got these because it's a bag. See? I don't want to look and see if I can see a paper bag. It's a reusable bag. It has it this. It is a very, very bright color bag. Yeah, it is very bright colored. Okay. Whoa. I hope the bag's all you get and it's just full of air. Should I do the little item first or the big item first? Oh, there's, okay. Let me feel around in here. I think there's two items. I think one is 
a pen box and then one's another box. So I'm gonna do the <gasps> oh! JP! It's a Nightmare Before Christmas box. It's a little, oh my goodness. It's a, it's a uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas mystery pen set from Loungefly. And then it's the little, sorry mom, it's the tarot cards of the little characters. And you can get, I don't know, you, it's actually, you probably can't see it because it's not zoomed in. You get Jack that says the king, Sally says the queen, Oogie Boogie says the fool, um, Lock, Jack, and Barrel in the bathtub says the chariot. The mayor says the emperor, and then zero is the glow in the dark chase, and it says death. Dang. <laughs> I didn't realize it said that. I really want the mayor, and then I, I, of course I want zero, but zero is going to be hard to find. The last time we had, or the only other time we've had a blind box from Bippity, it was the Oliver and Company one, and we got the chase of the glitter Oliver, remember? Mm-hmm. But I'm really excited, so I'm going to open this. Which one do you think we got, JP? Sally. I feel like Sally, people get Sally a lot in blind things. I'm just super excited because I want all of them really, but. Okay. Please be the bear. There's no bears. Bear. Oh, we got Oogie Boogie. It's still really cute. Can you see it? E I can. They cannot. No, they can't see it. No, you're gonna have to come closer. What are you doing with your hands? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, um... Insert a picture of it. Not insert a picture, insert a little clip where you, well, not insert a clip, but I'm gonna cut, and then you're gonna zoom in, and then film a little bit of it, and then continue, okay? Okay, it's focused right on where you're at. Okay, is it filming? Mm-hmm. Okay, now focus back to my face. I really, really actually like this pen because the gold looks good, Oogie Boogie looks good. It's like a higher quality pen, I would say. So I, I'm really excited about this pen, actually. I want to get all of them. I really want the mayor. And it's like to the temper and style, so I like this pen a lot. So yay! I'm so excited! Now I just need the other five. Okay, last item, I think... Big box. Is this a Jim Shore? Yeah. It is? Oh, wait, let me see the side of it. Oh, I, don't I don't think you have this one. I hope I don't. Oh my gosh. This is a big Jim Shore. For a box that's only $39.99, I got a pen and this larger Jim Shore. Yeah, but what's the pen? $10? Yeah. That gym short probably only 30. Really? Oh, Don't guess. tell me what it is. You're about to see it. Open it. I'm so excited. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. I don't want to break the styrofoam. I always break the styrofoam. You know, I heard they were selling Bob Beaches at the uh, Walmart. Who's Bob Beach? Gym short knockoff. <laughs> okay. Nothing's happening. Can you get this? Don't show me. I don't want to know. Wait, wait. I'm afraid you're going to break it. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. It's not coming out at all. Don't break it. No, don't do the box. Okay. Yay. Okay, so. Is this a themed box, you think? Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, I should have asked you because it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Wait, they have to know. Okay. I think they know it's there inside of those blind bags, though. Why? Babe, you just gave it away. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I know what this is now because you just said that. Well, just hurry up and open it, Slowpoke. Based on what Justin said, JP, I'm going to assume that it's Oogie Boogie. It's zero. <gasps> oh, my God. 
I actually had this on my, my, my preferences or whatever, but I didn't think I was going to get it. Because I don't think it's inexpensive. The colors, Brit. Brit from What Life Saw Life. Girl. Oh, he is fat and fabulous. Look at that. Look at his. Look at his belly and look at his little butt. Oh, it's got a little crack to it too. <laughs> He's my body type for sure. You should be Oogie Boogie for Halloween. I'm obsessed with this gym shore. I think this is the only Oogie Boogie gym. Actually, I don't actually know that. Don't don't take my word for it. He's like. I like the neck rolls. Oh yeah, I'm digging the neck rolls. Can you see him like in the thing? Mm -hmm. He is gorgeous. Which is weird. He's like spooky gorgeous. He's got little worms coming out. Can you like see him, see him, or just like? Oh, uh, I think you can see him. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take off his little tangy. He's holding his dice, and he's ah, a little filigree. I love these colors for some reason. It's like pink and like blue. Blue. Well, it's like yeah, it's like a navy blue and like a pink. He's so cool. That's so crazy that we got this Jim Shore and the Oogie Boogie pin. Oh yeah, he's called Gambling Ghoul. That's so cool. I'm so excited. I can't believe. I mean, I'm kind of like. And you got a bag. Oh yeah, and I got a reusable bag. That's crazy. Okay. I'm like, oh, I got styrofoam all over my boobs. Whoa. What? You can't be saying the B word like that. I'm so excited. Amanda, super impressed because I was a little, now I feel bad for being upset that my box went to North Carolina. Don't roll your eyes at me. I feel bad because this is special. He's so perfect. I love how round he is. He's so like, here, this is me. This is my body. JP! Yes? Look! Look what I noticed. Okay. So my body is round and large. I got a big belly. And I have itty bitty baby feet. And he's got little itty bitty baby feet. Look at the little baby feet. Mm hmm I am obsessed with this. Like, I walked up. Because he has like this pink in him and stuff. Yeah. And the purple. And I walked up from over there. And he looks so pretty. I love him. I'll go on my Oogie Boogie shelf. Yeah. Brit needs this. Let's look at the packing slip. Amanda, thank you so much. I'm very impressed. I, don't, I mean, I, just, I feel really bad <laughs> for being upset that it went to North Carolina because it was worth the wait. Like, really worth the wait. And she, this is like the however many in a row that Amanda absolutely kills it, so. They upgraded me again. What do you mean? So, aw, it says this box was lovingly curated by Amanda. And then it says, Disney Traditions, Jim Shore, Oogie Boogie, Gambling Ghoul, it's $50. So he was $50. This is $10 over the price of my box already. And then, the Dis Loungefly Disney NBC Tarot, tarot card blind box hard enamel pen of Oogie Boogie was $10. Oh, so they knew it was Oogie Boogie. No, I just said of Oogie Boogie. Oh. <laughs> so the total value of my box was $60. And then she says, I hope you enjoy this complimentary upgrade. Smiley face. I couldn't ask for a better box. This might be my, like... This might be my... Well, I don't know, because last box was like my favorite box, but this might be my favorite box. But then I still had that one box a while back that was like my favorite box. I don't know what my favorite box is because I've had so many good box re boxes recently. Oh, fun fact. I was talking to some of my Disney friends in our little um, Zoom, and uh, we were talking about how like who voices his characters, and Ken Page, the voice of Oogie Boogie, is also the voice of Santa Claus, and I don't think Megan from the Pumpkin Queens is really happy to know that, but... <laughs> I feel like this is like a trophy. Like, if I was like in a big girl pageant, spooky pageant, and this was my trophy, I feel like this is my trophy. Big girl pageant. Thank you, baby, to so much for my box. Y'all, I mean, 
I can't say thank you enough. Y'all, every box blow my mind because I'm always like... You guys are like a fan. It can't... Ha ha ha. I'm like, I can't keep being this good, and then it gets better, and then it gets better, and I'm like, how in the heck? She was just telling me the other day do you that guys do this? the um, Bippity Boppity boxes are like being married to me, that every time when she thinks it just couldn't get any better, it just gets better. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back soon with another video. We love you guys so much. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what if gym shorts were like alive? How do you know they're not? It could be like Toys R Us. Toy Story, I mean. Toys R Us! <laughs> yeah, I fully believe in the Toy Story theory, but that's just me. You also think the moon is fake. Stop! We're not going to get into my conspiracy theories right now. Because people are going to think I'm crazy. Yeah, they will. No, leave me alone. Okay. Guys, ask your significant other when their conspiracy theories before marriage. <laughs>